I have to do something. I can't just lie here. What's going on here? You're her. The one from the embassy. Please, you have to go after my father. He's going to get himself killed in the stand of the Sentinels. The forest beyond the village. Everyone else seems to have forgotten that we don't abandon our own. Venera? <sighs> if you're gonna drag the Outlander into this, at least tell her the whole story. Garoka gave her that stab wound. It was an accident. How did your father accidentally stab you? For a while now, he's been sneaking out of the village to hunt alone in the stand. Sometimes he's gone for days. So this time, I followed him to his hunting camp. Tried to convince him to come home. Words led to fists. And somewhere in the middle of it all... His knife. He was already gone when I fell. You would have bled to death had I not come looking for you. It doesn't make any sense. The way he looked at me... It was like I was a stranger. Perhaps it's time to recognize... He's fine! He has to be. I can't make any promises, but I'll find him if I can. At least to see if he's all right. Where's his hunting camp? Southeast of here. Thank you. Glad that's settled. Now you need to rest. There will be those who won't scare me, but I saw it. She took to the skies. <laughs> <laughs> of this. The hunting camp. This must be where Fenira confronted her father. I might be able to pick up his trail with my focus. Jar of oil knocked over. Blood. Must be Fenira's. From when her father gashed. Let's see where this leads. Lost Rider. And a lot of traps. I, about it by ask. I must be Garoka. I better help him. with the assist, Huntress. Come. Let's speak. You fight like you're a Tanakh, but you're not one of us. State your name, Outlander. I'm Aloy. You must be Garoka. Fenira asked me to find you. She's back in the village. She's recovering from a wound. ...from your fight. Then she's in good hands? Come! We have to get moving. There's a squad deeper in the forest that are about to walk into an ambush. By who? Rebels? 
that's what you want to call them. Spineless scabs. All the same, I could use your spear. What do you say? Fine. Where is the squad? This way. We'll make faster time if we cut through the Sentinels. How do you know about the attack? We've been watching enemy movements in the mountain pass. They've been trying to take our territory for years. This is just their latest attempt. Years? Gaul's rebellion isn't that old. Something's off here. Never mind. We have to get to the squad. Garoka's definitely not all there. This isn't looking good. Squad, we're what? No, an old memorial for fallen soldiers. I think we're a lot more than too late. Garoka, who are you, Outlander? How do you know my name? I'm Aloy. Fenira asked me to find you. I'm guessing you don't remember what happened. I went away again, didn't I? Why are we here? You told me there was a squad. I was about to be attacked. This is where it happened, isn't it? A long time ago. Yes. My squad. The Sky Clan ambushed us, slaughtered them all. It would have been... 30 years ago now. Fenira thinks you've been sneaking off into the forest to hunt. But you've been coming back here. There's no easy way to say this, Garoka. She's hurt. Bad. She tried to stop you from leaving. I hurt her? But I would never... No. Everything is... A fog. I feel like I've been wandering through it. Lost. My blade unfamiliar in my hand. And when it finally clears, I can't remember what I was doing or why. I'm always just alone in the forest. How long has it been like this? This fog? Weeks. Months, maybe. At first, I thought it was a passing thing. Like forgetting after a knock on the head. Then names and faces became difficult, and I started finding myself in the forest, unsure how I got there. Why haven't you told Fenira? What was I supposed to say? That I'm unraveling like a frayed, weak rope? No! But look where that's gotten you. She has no idea why you hurt her. So the Sky Clan ambushed your squad a long time ago? 
We were almost through with our patrol. About to head back to the village when they swarmed us. I alone survived. When my wounds scarred, I returned here and built a memorial where my comrades fell. And then I struck down twice as many of their soldiers in retribution. Such were the clan wars. Earlier, you said the enemy had been trying to take the Lowland territory for years. I guess that was during the clan wars? Before Hikaru became our chief, our clans were constantly at war. We fought over every inch of this forest. The ruined village nearby is a remnant of those days. No matter how many soldiers fell, there was always another vendetta to pursue. They say that's why the wood of the Sentinels runs red. For the generations of blood spilled. We should head back to the village. Wait. The memorial. It's missing a piece there. A marker of metal. Made from the blades of my fallen comrades. Where is it? It has to be around here somewhere. I have to find it. I know it's... I know it's here. Hey, calm down. Let me take a look. Okay. I should scan the memorial with my focus. Tracks. Leading away from the memorial. Lead the way. Jaws. They might have scrapped the marker. Filthy scavengers. On your lead. Find the marker. Might be in one of the Clamberjaw scrap piles. I'll stand watch in case more machines show up. No marker here. I better check another scrap pile. No marker here. I better check another scrap pile. Got the marker. 
I want to give this back to Goroka. Here. I think this is the missing marker. Yes, that's it. I'll return it to the memorial. You go on ahead. I want to spend some time to remember my comrades. Are you sure? I'll be fine. The fog is gone for now. All right. I'll head back to the village and let Fenira know you're okay. Thank you, Eloy. Well, at least I can tell Fenira why Garoka's been running off. Where's my father? It's okay. I found him. He's not deranged, Fenira. He's been forgetting things more and more. He thought he was still in the clan wars, that he could save his squad from an ambush. When we got to the memorial, he came back to the present. Said it's like he's been lost in a fog. Wait. I've heard of something similar, a rare occurrence among chaplains. Their memory fades with the long years. Garoka's not a chaplain, but he is the age of one. Before Hikaru became chief, few of us would live to be so old. So that's why. Oh, thank the Ten. If he was found to be insane, then by rights he'd be put to death. What? No, he's just getting old. He needs care, not a death sentence. Pretty sure the rest of the village sees that as one and the same. But we'll keep a close eye on him. Speaking of, where is he now? Here. Oh, little spear. I... I'm so sorry. Shh. It's all right, Father. You're home safe. And I understand now. When the fog comes, I'll hold your hand tight and remember for you. You don't have to be afraid. Thank you for your help. Please, accept this. Your deeds here, what you've done for Fenira, will always, always be remembered. Thank you, Aloy. Aloy? Yes, Aloy. Like you want to live. Gotta brace myself against this wind. 